Hi and welcome to Downy Dara. I'm Isabella and today we are going to see a video about design in Power BI. We're going to talk about the KPI visual. Usually the KPI visual is the only visual that when I click on it, it's not interacting, so it's not filtering the other visual on my page. As in this case, I have this KPI that has the amount of sales of the cancelled orders. When I click on it, it is not working, so it's not filtering my table or the bottle. What I want to achieve instead is a KPI like this one, where when I click on it, I can filter all the other visuals on my um, dashboard. Let's see how to achieve this also without using bookmarks. Sometimes books are difficult to maintain and also a little bit slower. What we are going to use instead to achieve this is a simple bar chart. Let's go down to my computer and see how to do it. If this is the first time you visit Downy Data, make sure to hit that subscribe button in order to stay up to date with all my videos where I share everything I know about data. So basically what we want to achieve is this dashboard where we have this table at the bottom and this KPIs at the top that have um, the dollar amount based on the status of our sales order. So every time I select all, one of these KPIs, you see that the table at the bottom, for example, in this case on result, is filtered on the result value. And all the other KPIs instead it's remain like unfiltered. So every time I select one of these KPIs, all the others just still show the value of that status. Basically, uh, I create another table, uh, another page in a table where I can now show you how to do that. So first of all, we add a bar chart and we make it a little bit smaller. So what we have to do is add the sales amount at x-axis and let's add the status as filter on this visual. And we choose in this case disputed, uh, just because it has 14 values, so it's really easy to test and to see it if filtering on the table at the bottom. And let's make some formatting of this um, bar chart. So first of all, Let's change the title that should be dollar amount um, for disputed. Here we change also the font in say Goyoi and I want it bold and probably also in the middle. And let's change the color in a little bit more gray. Probably this is too light, but like this one. Change the background and um, have this gray background. So I want it to be completely transparent so I can see the background of the page. Uh, change, um, change the visual border as well so I can see the KPI. And after, let's go to the settings in visual. Uh, so let's change the data labels. So I want to see the value and I want to see the value in the inside center. I want it to be bold and probably a little bit bigger. So let's put it in 15. And I want to see the display units in thousands. Once I've done this, uh, let's get to the bars. So I want the colors, first of all, to be uh, branded with download data. So let's choose this blue, light green, and change the spacing. So the inner padding should be zero, it just because we have just one bar in this case. And the minimum category, let's put 40. So you see that it's becoming, the, um, the bar is becoming bigger. What we are going to do afterwards, which if you try to select it now, you see that it's not uh, it's not filtering on the disputed status. That is because if I go back and I can see that I don't have the Y axis. Basically, the bar chart wants to have a Y axis as well. 
And instead of Y, I create this column that is an empty column that I can add as a Y axis. So I added it here. And basically now when I select it, you can see that it's actually finally selected on the status. And I want to change the color because change it back to the blue standard one. After I should uh, turn off uh, the Y axis, the title of the Y axis, um, the same for the um, X axis, but I want the range to be to be a full a full bar chart, a full bar on on my KPI. So for for achieve this, it's enough to put as range uh, minimum zero and maximum zero point one. And you see that now we achieved that full bar um, and seems to be more a KPI. Can do it a little bit smaller. And now seems to be we have our first uh, KPI. And we have, can copy and paste in order to create a new one. So let's do another status in this case. Let's change in the filter under this visual. And now we're changing in progress. And let's change the title. So here in progress. Perfect. And we see that also when we select this one, now it's working. So it's uh, filtering the table at the bottom. What is happening now, though, is this amount disputed. It's filtering uh, on the other bar chart because there is interaction between different bar charts on the same page. So what I need to do is select this visual and go to format, edit interaction, and we can see this little um, round. We can see this little circle on, uh, on the top of all the other visual on the page, except the one that I select. So I'll have it on amount dispute and I have also on the table at the bottom. But we don't want the this bar chart to interact with a mountain progress. So what I do, I just select this non interaction with a mountain progress and keep this instead on for the table at the bottom. Turn off the added interactions and after check, if I select this one, so a mountain progress, I should filter just the table at the bottom and not the amount dispute. And it's exactly what it, it's happening. Same for this one. So I selected format, edit interaction. I disabled this one and uh, turn off the edit interaction. It's important to turn off the edit interaction before check. And also this one is working. So for all the other one, basically I just need to put a clip and let me know uh, what you think uh, about this feature in Power BI and if you have other ways to use the bar chart or other suggestion to use the KPIs and see you in the next video.